Good day, everybody. Here we are on All Season Adventures. It is, uh, it is actually March 14th, my birthday. But more importantly, I've been doing this for about five years now. I like to refer to this day as Burnout Day. This is the day where I start up as many vehicles as I can in my fleet and do a burnout with them in the backyard. So uh, this year, I'm going to try to go oldest to newest. And at the same time, I'm going to introduce you guys to my fleet and tell you a little verb on them. So or a little story on them. So anyhow, without further ado, let's go outside and show you what we got. Weather's not the best, but we're still going to make it happen. So anyhow, hold on my friends, we got a good one for you guys today. Cheers. Okay, here we go to my oldest vehicle, my 1970 Chevelle. But as you guys can tell, unfortunately she's had a bit of a makeover. Well, it'd be between this and the Jeep, so uh, yeah, the wind here. So hopefully as soon as I get the Jeep started, I'd love to get this beast back in. 454, fell in love with this car uh, uh, while riding this thing, fell in love with my wife while doing Route 66 with this thing. So anyhow, hopefully next year this, be this beast has to make comeback for next year. So anyhow, what we're going to be starting off with first will be the F-150 that's laid up behind there. I'm going to go give you a quick story on that one. Okay, this is my 1984 F-150. Actually traded a dirt bike for it, but uh, this one here has lots of sentimental value to me. If you guys follow me, where uh, uh, this is modeled after the exact same truck that I learned how to drive on when I was like 14 years old, so like 36 years ago, or so now. And my dad, the old man, he still has the original, well, half of it, running a sawmill. So I got lots of parts from the original in that one. So this truck definitely has lots of. Uh, Emotional value to me, but anyhow, I don't know why you guys are tuned into here. Let's see some burnout. Let's get the show on a go. Cheers Okay, well time for the first burnout as mentioned. We got a little special guest. He, he likes burnouts every now and then. So yeah, without further ado, let's get the show rolling. Well, not a, not a bad way to start off burnout day if you ask so myself. Uh, got the old 84 F-150 done. Next one will be the 84 FXR. So stay tuned my friends, lots more to come. Cheers. Okay, time for our second burnout of the day. This is kind of tied for age with the 84, but uh, this time we got my 84 Harley FXR. So anyhow, you guys aren't here to listen to me talk. So let's get some tire smoke going. Cheers. Happy birthday to me! Great time! Okay, and it's now time for burnout number three. This time we got the 89 Camaro IROG Z. Just so you guys know, this is my first car I've ever owned. Bought this thing in uh, 1999 if I remember. It's over 20, I've had it for over 22 years now, anyhow. But uh, this one should be, she got a V8 in there, holds pretty good. 305 with pretty much uh, every bolt-on you can imagine to it. This one shouldn't be too hard to do a burnout because as you can see, well, front wheels are stuck in the ground, so even without ice, she ain't going nowhere. And uh, the rear one, let's uh, hope that the wheels aren't frozen too, too solid because 
We're not trying to break stuff. If it happens, it happens, but hopefully we don't break any axles, so wish us luck. But she's got enough torque that she should spin it right out of there, no issues. As long as we don't break the bead on the tire and rim. But anyhow, let's find out. Cheers. Night Camaro burnout done. First car still has it. Cheers. Okay, now time for burnout number four. This time we are going in my 95 Ranger, which you guys probably all know as Beaster Truck. You all seen it in my videos before. Uh, just so you guys know, uh, over there the 84 F-150, that's modeled after the truck that I, or vehicle that I learned how to drive on. This is my first truck that I've ever owned. Bought this thing in 2003, so Getting close on owning it for 20 years, so anyhow, time to get some tire smoke going. Cheers. Not too bad for the old Beaster truck, uh, yeah, 95 Ranger. Anyhow, uh, got another one coming up soon enough. Cheers. Okay, here we are, all season again. As I mentioned at the beginning of the day, we are going through my entire fleet of vehicles. Quick description. Uh, before Beaster truck, the 95 Ranger, I should have mentioned how I got the 1990 Jeep YJ. If you guys following me, you guys know I'm building a Jurassic Park Jeep out of this one. Hopefully can make a few bucks off of it. We'll see. But uh, anyhow, as you guys can tell, this one's not ready to do a burnout. So anyhow, off to the next vehicle. Cheers. Okay, here you are. This is the next one that's in the line after the 95 Ranger. We're not doing a burnout with this one either. This one is a 96 Ford Ranger, 4 liter. This one is a parts Ranger. I bought this one because I needed a replacement uh, transmission for the 95 one year. So I've taken lots of good parts off this one, but I'm not doing any burnouts with this one. So. Next vehicle. And here we are. Here is next lucky victim. Uh, this is actually a 2002 XR200R. This is the wife's uh, XR. Uh, bought it for, well, oh, she got it, but uh, I psyched it, uh, her up into getting it. So try to get her into off-roading. So try to get her a bit slowly into more adventure stuff. But anyhow, I'll be the one doing a little bit of fooling around, doing some burnouts with this one. So let's get this show on the road. Cheers.
Another one in the box. Okay, next in line we got my 2002 Acura RSX Type S. This car I actually bought when I came back from a deployment. Actually my first car that I bought cash. The most expensive car that I bought. That was kind of nice. So, $12,000 car or so. Nice little toy. It's got the 2 liter engine VTEC, but goes pretty good. So anyhow, without further ado, let's make her spin those tires. Cheers. Acura RSX done. 